hello everyone welcome to the channel in this video guys if you are facing this issue a startup could not repair your pc your pc did not start correctly or automatic repair couldn't repair your pc so any one of the issue if you are facing this video is for you i will show you step by step how you can troubleshoot this issue easily and you can restore your data and system as well so i know when we get this kind of issues on the startup we get nervous so don't worry i will fix this issue you just need to click on here advanced options and from the advanced options guys the step number one is to remove all the external cables from your system external cables mean the mouse any external cable usb if you have only leave with hdmi and the power source and then turn it on and see if that fix the issue or not if our system is turned on normally after that it means that some issues is with the external usb on your system so you have to replace them if your issue is still not fixed let's move on to the next method in the next method we need to go to here troubleshoot and if you are not able to see this screen stuck on the diagnosing your pc or not able to get this screen you can use the bootable pen drive or you can forcefully shut down your system two to three times okay so once you are at this, this screen the step number two is system restore so this option will restore your system to the working days you just need to click on here next select the latest date and then you should able to restore your system to backdate all the data and software will remain same you just need to wait for almost 20 to 30 minutes and if you see this error it means you haven't made the system restore so we have to close this now and we have to go to troubleshoot we need to go to advanced options and now we will take help of command prompt so here is the command from the first command you need to type here is sfc space slash scan now this is the normal command to fix any kind of windows corruption issues Now you can see it has found some corruption and successfully repair them. So let's move on to the next command. Now is next command is chkdsk space forward slash f space forward slash r space c and then colon. Operating system drive is c. So that's why I'm pressing here c and hit enter. Now you have to wait here for some time until it's get completed. So once this command is executed and done, you need to type for exit and cross this out and continue with Windows 11 or 10. So if this also doesn't help you guys, you need to again come over to this screen, then click on troubleshoot, click on advanced options and this time you need to click on startup setting. If recent update failed on your windows and after that you are facing this issue you can uninstall the update from here but if you have not installed any update on it click on the startup setting and we are going into the safe mode so press here F4 or 4 on your keyboard so you can see my system is not going into the safe mode if our system is also not going into the safe mode that means that the corruption is on a bigger level so you have to reset your pc the case so you have to reset your pc in this case if it is not going into the safe mode so keep your personal files here it will save your personal data connect with the internet choose here the cloud download if you have enough internet connection it will take around 4 GB of data so I suggest you to choose the cloud download here 
if you have the limited data you can go with local reinstall and this will solve all the problems see a key personal fire reinstall window from this device remove all the apps program that didn't come with this PC so click on reset here so after reset you will see see the same username here so once you have reset your system guys you need to go to browser microsoft edge browser and install the application like google chrome or whatever you have old system data you can browse here c drive then you should able to see the windows dot old file you just need to double click on that then double click on your username like this and copy and paste the data from desktop and the download into your current directory like this this is the current directory you have just paste it here so this is the correct solution to fix this issue if the issue is repeating and happening every time so i hope guys this video is really helpful for you if yes then hit like subscribe and share thank you thanks for watching